again. This is the morning of the 17th of March, 2019. Just read an interesting article on the Seattle Times. It was published on the 14th of March, 2019. Investigators find new clues pointing to potential cause of 737 MAX crashes as FAA details Boeing's fix. Hmm. Investigators on the ground near the crash site of the Ethiopian Airline 737 MAX found the plane's jack screw, a part that moves the horizontal tail of the aircraft, and it indicates that the tail was in an unusual position, according to an aviation safety consultant briefed on the findings. The consultant, John Cox, chief executive of Safety Operating Systems, and former the top safety official for the Airline Pilots Association said that Boeing's new flight control system on the MAX implicated in the preliminary investigation into the earlier crash of the Lion Air jet in Indonesia is one of several possible systems that could explain the unusual deflection in the horizontal tail, a control surface that swivels to pitch the plane's nose up or down. This along with evidence from a new satellite-based system that tracked the flight data and revealed similar trajectories on the two flights is what finally led the Federal Aviation Administration to ground the MAX on Wednesday following regulatories around the world. Boeing, meanwhile, plans to continue production and keep its 737 supply chain and assembly lines moving even as investigators continue to look into the cause of both crashes that together killed 350 people and led governments across the globe to ground the aircraft. There have been no change in the production rate at this time, Boeing said in a statement. That's a pretty stupid move on their part. The FAA briefed lawmakers on Thursday about Boeing's plans to develop a software patch for the suspect flight control system providing the most detailed look yet at the company's efforts to get the plane back in the air. The timeline for that fix, which will still have to wet FAA approval, means the planes are unlikely to be cleared to fly any earlier than towards the end of next month. Absolutely insane. These planes won't be back in the air for a minimum of six months, if at all. In an interview Thursday, Representative Rick Larson, Democrat Everett Chair of the House Aviation Subcommittee, said FAA expects to approve a software fix for the new flight control system called MCAS, Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, by the end of this month so that Boeing can begin to deploy it in a worldwide fleet of nearly 400 MAXs in April. He said Boeing will also provide more training material for pilots on the systems and on the changes made to how it operates. In a less optimistic analysis, Ronald Epstein, an aviation industry financial analyst with Bank of America, told investors that it could take Boeing three to six months to fix the troubled aircraft. The worldwide grounding, meanwhile, has left airlines scrambling to meet their schedules with other planes. The new flight control system on the MAX, the MCS, was added so that the new plane would behave and feel the same to pilots as the older model 737s. It was necessary because the new model's bigger engines positioned farther forward of the wing changed the plane's lift characteristics in a high-speed stall situation. MCAS is designed to swivel the horizontal tail so as to push the plane's nose down automatically without pilot input. If a sensor on the fuselage indicates the nose relative to the airflow is too high, an angle, the angle of attack, didn't I say it was the angle of attack sensor that activates all these events? Boeing has been working on a fix since soon after the Lion Air crash when a preliminary investigation indicated that a false reading on the angle of attack sensor triggered MCAS to repeatedly push the plane's nose down and forced the Lion Air pilots into losing struggle to pull it up again. What I believe that that MCAS also does is goes full throttle with the engines. Why? Well, to avoid a stall.
you need to pitch the nose down and apply power. And I'm convinced that the MCS does exactly that. When I was trained to deal with stall situations, both approach stalls and takeoff stalls, well, what you do is you pitch the nose forward and you apply full power and you pull back on the control. So that MCAS brings the throttles full forward at the same time as it pitches the nose down. You can't make this stuff up, folks. The advantage that I have is I'm a licensed pilot. My son is an airline pilot. He was an F-16 fighter pilot. He was a B-2 aircraft commander, instructor pilot. I know what I'm talking about. These planes are going to be grounded for a very long time. I, myself, will never get in one for a very, very long time. I didn't fly in the 737s for a very long time when they had that rudder issue, which eventually they solved. But a number of jets crashed, a number of people died. Boeing is going to be in for a very rough time. They might not survive financially. We'll see how this thing unfolds. I'll attach the link. You take a look at the charts. Take a look at the graphs. You let me know what you think. Yeah, sure as hell know what I think, don't you? You might want to repost this on all your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to your like-minded friends. Ask them to do the same.